Uh, hey everyone. Uh, so, got a new video. Um, constantly heard about Samurai Bird using this stuff right here. Blue Magic Polishing. So I decided to get it too and try it out. I normally use flints. It does okay. It does okay. Um, I did like two polishes on my Bahayu to see how it does. It works pretty darn good, I will say. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I mean, it's like a mirror finish now. I must say, I'm thoroughly impressed. I mean, there's the Hamon right there. You kind of see it in the darkness because it's reflecting so much. Um, so that's the blue magic. And it's actually blue, too. I was like, holy shit, it's blue. Now this is my Unibakai from Hanbon. And I've used flint on this. It does have some oil on it. But you can... Right away, you can see a difference. Even though, I mean, if I took this out in the sun, it would reflect pretty good. But um, even if I wipe the oil off, it's still the polish isn't like all that. I mean, it's pretty good. Don't get me wrong. But I think if I put that blue magic on this stuff, oh, that would just brighten it up like crazy. Um, there is another company I'm going to try. They've been around. I've heard of them. They've been around for a long time. They're called Chemical Brothers. Um, now, this stuff I was reading, it says it leaves a protective coat on the metal. Um, so, I don't know how long that lasts or whatever. Um, I, I normally use choji oil all the time. And the way you can tell if you have real choji oil, if it tells you, Choji oil, real pure choji oil, is actually food grade. Um, kind of like chamomile. It's kind of a form of that. And the stuff I have is food grade. So, that's how you know if you... One way you can kind of tell that it's um, real choji oil. Um, because you can use it on... I have choji oil and then I have chamomile. And they're both um, food grade. So if you have a carbon chef knife... You can leave it on there, cut your food with it. It's not going to hurt you at all. It's it's perfectly fine. Um, so I don't know how long the protective coating from this stuff lasts. Um, Chemical Brothers, though, I'm probably going to try them and see how they come out. Their stuff is made for all kinds of things, um, mainly like automotive. So if you have like... Um, polished out bumpers, tailpipes. Um, it'll take the deoxidation right out of it and just about give it like a mere finish just by rubbing it in. And it's supposed to give you a um, also a nice protective coating after you buff it. Um, which, when you think about it, um, cars are in the element 24-7. So, and it'll take rust off. If you have a little spots of rust, specks of rust, it'll take that off and then just buff it right out. And that's actually on Amazon. They have two different types. Um, a lighter um, polishing compound and then they have a heavier one. Um, I'm thinking about trying the heavier one because the heavier one has the protective coating that leaves behind. So, thought I'd give that a try. I mean, if you put it on your car, which is out in the elements all the time, figured, why not? You, you could probably use it for a sword. And a lot of people don't like using polishing compounds sometimes because it is it's an abrasive um, because of scratches. Well, here's the key right now. When you're polishing something like this, even because on a car, you can use a polishing machine. 
that's going to take all those little minor little scratches right out. With the sword, you can't do that. But what you want to do is kind of like if you're if you are trying to learn how to polish on a stone, you want to go with the blade. Always go with the blade. Um, and you're not going to see those scratches anymore. Dang, look at that. I mean, that thing is so shiny now. But yeah, always go with the blade. Don't go against the blade. Yeah, you're going to see scratches in it. Even with a compound, if you do it long enough, it might create scratches. But if you go with the blade, you'll never see them. It'll blend right in. Because that's how a, a katana is actually polished with stones. They go with the blade all the time. And then that takes it all out. But look at that. Look at that difference. Night and day. Blue magic, That's this stuff works. And I've used flints on this. And flints hasn't even got it this bright. But this stuff has. So, I've got one more I'm going to try. I haven't ordered it yet. Like I said, Chemical Brothers. And they've been around for years and years and years. And they have really good stuff. Um, I never hear anything bad about the Chemical Brothers. And they have all kinds... Um, they do all kinds of stuff, not even just polishing compounds. They make all kinds of stuff. Um, and it's two brothers who developed it. That's why it's called Chemical Brothers. But yeah, um, Samurai Bird, the stuff works really, really good. I'm impressed. Blue Magic. Yeah. So I'm going to be using this instead of my flint. I'll probably use my flint if I need just like a quick cleanup on a blade. And then just constantly use this stuff. This tube will last me, God, a long time. Very long time. Because believe it or not, the polish on your sword, and I'll do another video on that, is actually important. Um, if you're really into um, Japanese swords and the way the samurai, um, their mentality and everything like that. The polish on a sword is actually very, very important. And you should try, you should try. You're going to get scratches in it, they even did. But you should try and maintain the polish as much as you can. Um, because to them, it was very important. It actually has a purpose, the polishing, uh, uh, the blade being that polished out. And like I said, I'll do a separate video on that of why it was important and the meaning, um, the purpose behind it. But for right now, Samurai Bird, thanks for the recommendation. This stuff's awesome. I'll see you guys later. Oh, still no sword. So, don't know when I'm going to do it. I know it's, I know it's here in the country. Just don't know where. Um, for some reason, when it gets here, whoever takes it, USPS or UPS, they don't maintain the tracking. Um, because it's not showing up on SF now, where it is in the United States. So, it's kind of irritating at times. But it's supposed to be here this week, so hopefully soon. Have a good one, guys.